Wait, is this guy for real? He's playing a little bit too well. Knight d3 and bishop d6 is a little bit much. Next guy. Go D4 and takes. Go knight C3. Probably I'll do about one more hour of this, I think. He just moves the knight, does nothing. I think we just play B4. Let's play a wing gambit here. Like wing chun. Play bishop B2. Attack the pawns. G4, bishop D3. A lot of bad stuff happening. Let's take and go G4. Hit the, hit the uh, knight on F5. Should be GG very soon. Do you expect yourself to win? I mean, like I said, I have no expectations. I want to play well, and that's it. If I'm competitive, I'm happy. I don't play chess with expectations anymore. Um, which is probably why I do so well. But I, I have zero expectations. He gets a check, but this is not three checks you win. What's a bad mindset? No, my mindset is actually why I do so well, ironically. Let's go A5, A4. No, it's specifically when you expect great things that that's when things go wrong, especially as it relates to terms like the candidates, because then you put too much pressure on yourself. That's that's why that's why if you look at the candidates turn relative to all the other top turns, the quality of play is substantially worse than the candidates and other top level turns for that exact reason. Because everyone's feeling super, super nervous about the chance to potentially get a million dollar payday and play for the world championship. This is oddly normal. This is not I haven't disrespected him enough. Um it's like a French opening. Do you force yourself to not to have expectation? Here comes the family fork. Family fork time. Do you force yourself not to have expectations? It's not about forcing myself. It's just that I'm a streamer first. That's my job. That's how I earn a living. I don't earn a living as a chess player anymore. So that's more what it is than like actually like having to force myself not to have expectations. Like when I play the game, I want to win, but like, it's not how I make my living, so it doesn't change much for me. Men want one thing, and it's disgusting. Forking kings, queens, and rooks. Good one. Is he disconnected, or am I disconnected? Oh, we have a, we have a, we have a poor loser. He uh, disconnected. Do we have another poor loser? We do. This is the jam? Yes. I don't even care about this pawn here. I'm, I'm going to go for a quick cheese in this game if I can get it. Plays knight 6, which is a very good move. Um, that's not a good move. I don't know where that horse is going. Get out of here. Go here, hit the queen. F6, I just go bishop h6. I mean, I'm just going to go for cheese with d5. Has there ever been a time when you're convinced you're the best player in the world? No, I don't think so. I mean, there's always been this, this, this stupid Norwegian guy, Magnus Carlsen. Like, I mean, there was a time, like, the problem is, like, there was that there was a time when I could compete with like a non and Kramnik and actually do very well against them, but already Magus had broken through. Like if that could have happened a few years earlier, maybe I could maybe in some like delusional world I could think that I could have been the best, but like when I when I broke through Magus was already up there, so it was never really a thing. I'm gonna go E5 here. I can't let him castle the king. I wanna hit him with a bishop H3. Do I become angry reading chat? Most of the time I don't become angry. I mean, obviously I can like anybody else. I mean, if I stream a long time and like I'm tired and things like 
Of course I can, but I generally don't. Oh, uh, that's an ice skater. I think I think 1,000 is my goal. I think if we get to 1,000, that's a good spot. Stop like two hours ish, and then get back trying to set a new all-time high in blitz and doing all the usual night G4 trying to cheese me. Maybe an arena. I don't know if I want to do an arena today, but I might just focus on blitz. But we'll see. We'll see what the plan is as we keep going. Uh, let's just take ish 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 ish. Go here, hit the pawn. Maybe knight c3. Actually, I'm going to go h6. I want to lolly him. One of the big benefits of pushing the pawns on the edges is that you get many more opportunities to lolly mate them. What about a speed run where you don't touch your queen? That sounds like a bad euphemism. There's a horse. We win the horse and win the game. Um, <laughs> geez, let's go queen f3. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad euphemism. I'm sorry. Um, let's take the knight here. Take the bishop. Um, I'm going to try to lolly him again. Let's see if I can get the lolly. Yep, we got the lolly made again. Queen g7. How would I feel as the uh, big world champion? Actually, I think people would be really upset because honestly, I can tell you what would happen. If I became world champion, what would happen is I literally would only play the world championship. I would play less chess than ding. I would stream, stream all the time and then just show up for the match. That's what I would do. No, no, no cap, but that's what I would do. I literally only play, I'd literally stream, like stream, stream, stream all the time and only show up for the match. There goes the rook and there, there goes the game. My man can resign. Take, and he's already down a bunch of material. It's already time to resign. Yep, he actually listened. This guy, ha this guy is pretty good. Why the difference in schedule? What do you mean? What do you mean difference in schedule? Whatever. Let's. It's not how pawns move. Does he know end peasant? He can play end peasant if he wants. Oh, uh, why the difference in schedule versus now? No, there's no difference in schedule. Um, not specifically. I mean, I, I guess I guess I understand your point of what you're saying. I mean, probably the only thing, yeah, the the only reason is that I wouldn't have to qualify for the, for anything, so I could literally just sit and only play the match. That's the difference. Because like right now, I have to qualify for the cannon, so it's not like I can just like sit around and not play chess at all. Um, yeah, M peasant. Go here. He's actually playing well. He'll still lose, but he's playing well. Which Indian player has the best chance in the Canada? I don't know. I would say, um, wait, is this guy for real? He's playing a little bit too well. Knight d3 and bishop d6 is a little bit much. Okay. Okay, now I just went on time. The great thing about Bullet, though, is in Bullet, even if he's a Smurf, like, there's, there, you just can't keep up on the clock. That's the biggest issue. You just can't keep up on the clock. That's the, that's the problem. All right, let's go h5, h4. Go a5. Oh, I, he's a London. He's one of these London enjoyers. So I should have cheesed him with something else. And he loses the bishop. This is why, like, I, I really like all these London enjoyers. They don't know how to play chess. They they come up with this one stupid system. Think they're so great at chess. And if you can get them out of their system, they're so bad. So bad. Uh, let's just go e6 here. 
Prague is so hard to beat. Prague, I would say, is probably the... Um, I would say right now, I mean, of the Indian players, the one who impressed me the most for a couple of reasons. Take a pawn, win an end game. What's the win count? Oh, can you guys not see it? Is it not showing? Wait, is it not showing? Wait a second. Oh, did it go down again? What the heck? Okay, we'll stop after this game. What the fridge? Wait a second. Go here, I think. Let me refresh the page. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I, I got to move. I'm too long time. Wait a second. It'll, it'll, it'll be back up in a second. Go checkmate. Actually, I should take the pawn for extra extra bonus points. One second. Let me let me make sure. Um, let's hit play and let's get going. Okay, let's go h4, h5 here. Keep disrespecting these guys. It's showing, right? It's showing 51 wins. No. Doesn't it show it, or am I crazy? Are you guys trolling me or not? I think you guys are trolling me. Yeah, it's showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ban that guy. Ban that guy for disrespecting me. Ban that guy. He's disrespecting me. Mods, ban him. Um, let's just take the knight and go knight f3. All the rest is a 120. That's a survival. It's all good. No, I'm I'm trolling. But yeah, it's, I'm trolling. Obviously. There goes a queen. There goes a bishop. And I mean. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, dude. I mean, at least this guy's from Switzerland. Like, this Switzerland's a very beautiful country. They got a lot. I assume that's what the Swiss. There's ah. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's just take the pawn and go check. Um, I was about to say Switzerland at least has like nice hills and nice valleys. You can probably find something to do, but of course I looked the country wrong, and it's not sweet. It's not Switzerland. It gets worse and worse. Yes. Take the bishop. Trying to attack. I mean, trying to mate him on the queen side. Bro thinks he's queso. Who's queso? You mean like big queso? There used to be a really good poker player. I remember playing on Poker Stars back in the day, and he was like. I think his name is either El Queso or Big Queso or something like that, but yeah. Although you spelled it wrong. You spelled it C-A-S-E-O or something, whereas Queso spelled Q-U-E-S-O, no? Yeah. Yeah, Queso is uh is spelled Q-U-E-S-O. Yeah. I don't know. I, maybe you guys are trolling me or something. I don't know. Go check. Go here. Let's made him on the queen side. Queso is a streamer. I don't know who queso is. Sorry, I know I mean queso means cheese in 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 Mex in Spanish. Uh, let's take the pawn, um, and go like rook a eight and mate. But yeah, I, I don't I don't know I don't know who queso is. Sorry, let's go here and queen b queen a one maybe knight b three, K S S O yeah yeah. Um, let's go here. I think he's just made it basically. I take I'm gonna get some kind of mate on the corner. Okay, flags, let's keep going. Next game. Speaking of queso, by the way, yeah, I've got some queso on my on my pasta. There's some queso. I don't know if I zoom out. But it's a speed run, so I'm not gonna show it. Um I gave him five seconds. He's 548, so it doesn't even matter. Let's go here and hit the bishop. What is that? That's pasta. Pasta with some like green beans, carrots, and uh ground beef and queso of course Par parmesan Reg reggiano or whatever you call it don't draw the food like tyler one yes i i'm aware of that actually let's go here and hit the queen yeah it's pasta yes exactly pasta let's 
Save the night. Can I cook? Of course I can. Like I said, I started cooking for the first one a while the other day, doing some sous vide, some fillet minions, some pureed potatoes, the usual. The queen, not good. Oh, I'm gonna lolly him. Get a lolly. There comes the lolly. Can't stop the lolly, mate. I'm getting far too many lollies, by the way. Kind of hard doing a speed run and eating at the same time. So let's see, can I actually multitask? It looks like a weird color though. Go so here in Rook H4. Yeah, when I push P early, I'm getting a lot of lollies. Too many lollies. He's trying to cheese me with Queen B6. I'll keep that in mind for, for how I destroy him in a few moves. Go so here in Knight C4, hit the Queen. Go B5. It's amazing, even when I eat food, I'm still like 50 times faster than this guy. Like, doesn't anybody know how to play good moves in seconds? This is pawn, GG. Ultimate disrespect eating while bulleting. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a nice bite. Hmm. Should take the bishop. Here comes the fork. Another family fork. Forking pawns, a king, a knight, everything. Get a lolly. I'm gonna go h6 and lolly him on the king side again. I mean, he's upset, so he's gonna flag. Maybe he's reporting me. 